Hey y'all, Irix guy here. Now I'm a big, uh, you know I'm a big Phantom 3 guy, but I'm not going to fail to acknowledge that there are some steps that may need to be performed to your Phantom 3 to make it perform optimally. So if you, if you haven't done this, it's probably something you need to perform, especially if you're experiencing tilted video, where you're, where you're looking at the video and it seems to be crooked. Maybe you're powering on your Phantom 3 and you're you're receiving a series of errors or just abnormal flight in general. So what we're going to do within this video is I'm going to step you through step by step how to perform the Phantom 3 IMU calibration. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure your Phantom 3 is on a flat surface. You're going to want to make sure its battery is charged and your uh, and your controller battery is charged. And you're also, there's no need to put prop guard or to put propellers on because we're not going to fly, we're just going to calibrate. And also, you need to make sure the surface it's on is level. And obviously, this is a level surface. So I've turned my controller on already. The next thing I'm going to do is turn the Phantom 3 on. And we'll give it just a moment here, and we'll go into the uh, into the DJI Pilot app. In my case, I'm using iPhone 6 Plus, but you may be using a uh, a different device. So just give it a moment, and then you're going to go into your app. Once you're in the DJI Pilot app, what you're going to want to do is this. You can see right here to the right where it says, and actually it's funny, it's giving me an IMU calibration message. Now it's saying safe to fly. So it's, you know, there's definitely, mine definitely needs to be updated. So what we're going to do here is this little icon to the right. It looks like controller with some little bars beside it. Select that icon. Once you've selected that icon, there's a series of little icons off to the left. It's got the controller looking icon selected now, but we want to select the one above it that looks like a Phantom 3 with quick disconnect prop guards attached to it. So once we select that, and you may have to scroll down, but you're going to scroll down to where it says sensors. See? Sensors. Select sensors. Once you've selected sensors, then you're going to want to scroll down to where it says IMU calibration. So again, make sure you're on a flat surface, which we are, and then push IMU calibration. And it says, please make sure aircraft has been turned off for five minutes before calibrating. Keep the aircraft stationary and level during calibration. Otherwise, you will have to recalibrate. Calibration will take five to ten minutes. Please be patient. So let's go ahead and hit OK there. And it says another message. We hit OK. IMU calibration in progress. It's got a percentage. I'm going to gently step away from this table. And we're going to come back when this is 100% complete. So mine took closer to five minutes, and I know that time may vary for you, but once it's completed, you can see right there it says calibration finished. It's interesting they used a red font to indicate that, uh, but then below the bar also says 100%. Uh, so the IMU calibration is completed. What you're going to want to do now is also make sure that your gimbal is calibrated. So what I do to do that, and you've, you've probably seen my other video where I did this, but the little icon that looks like the camera on the gimbal, Select that, and then go to, um, I was in advanced settings, so I had to go back. You may not, if you were already in advanced, you would have to do that, but if not, you wouldn't. But see right here where it says gimbal auto calibration? Just select that. Check aircraft is level, blah, 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 and begin calibration. Hit OK. And you'll see the gimbal will start to calibrate. And then it'll flash up a message saying gimbal calibration is complete. And you should be good to go. Now ultimately the true test is after this calibration is to take it outdoors to a, to a safe and responsible location and see if your camera is horizontal with the horizon. You know, give it a good flight test, see how things are going. Uh, but again, this, this IMU calibration, if you've never run it, probably something you want to run. If you've updated your firmware, probably something you want to run after that. 
uh, because I can tell you that I never encountered tilted horizon issues with my Phantom 3 until some of the most recent firmwares. So it was something that I was working fine and then I started to encounter issues. So the IMU calibration was a necessity for me. So I hope this video is of value. Uh, share it with others. Be sure to check out 400 or below.com. I've got an exhaustive uh, Phantom 3 tutorial section there and drop me a line if you have any questions. I, I really love this uh, love this hobby and it's you know we're all early adopters whether we like it or not and and having to work through some uh, some very simplistic kinks such as this is just part of it so I hope this helps you and uh, be sure to subscribe youtube.com forward slash irixgeth y'all have a good day